I think they better be on their A game. Australian sprinters probably would handle themselves against any sprinter in the world. I don't see his age as an issue at all. I don't see him as an eight-year-old gilding. I see him as a mature racer. But nature strip one sees piece of history today. Is he improving? Seems he's going to go find a way to get out of here. And it's all nature strip who explodes away. All the feature race days in sport are really something special and if you're successful on those days you like them a lot better. So uh, let's see how we run. If we run well, it might be the best day of all time. Come on! They do so. Nature's leading. Come on! So they haven't done anything for two weeks, they've just been light canters. This morning was their first piece of fast work, sort of four to five days out from a nature strips run and it was just good timing. The whole reason for the exercise is probably to stimulate them a little without doing too much work. Obviously they'll be coming here race day, there'll be a massive crowd on each of the days and it'll be a big atmosphere for them to cope with. So walking through the pre-parade, the actual parade ring, walking through the tunnel, going out onto the track, down the straight freezing up up the straight, seeing the marquees to the inside and the big stand, which is just amazing for all of us to see, but you could only imagine what a horse thinks when they're, when they're coming to a new environment. So it was just helping them be more familiar with it when they come back here next week. We're very proud to have representation here and uh, yeah, we've had some great horses over the past decade or so perform very well here. They've been great horses. You can't come here with just any horse. You've got to have a very special horse. So it's a great week ahead and let's hope we're talked about after the week as well as before the week. The trepidation and nerves, just making sure everything, everything goes right. As I said before, yeah, anything can go wrong with a racehorse or any animal, any athlete and these are high performance athletes. So it's important that every day goes smoothly and yeah, once they walk into this parade ring, I'll be a proud man and the job will be done from my perspective. Oh, a lot of excitement, I mean, um, you can't control what happens, but you just want him to run well, and if he does that, then we'll be very happy. I mean, he's such a good horse. Uh, you never dream of having one as good as this, and um, you know, he's been wonderful for all the owners, and you know, given us a great opportunity to have some fun and um, really enjoy the sport. Strip to store number 10. Veroff, they race away for the King Stand Stakes. Mondarmich not with them. Pontos is very fast away. Winter Power, he missed the kick on Golden Pal. He's making move already. Nature Strip in the red and yellow stripes is up there as they make their way already down all the halfway stage. Nature Strip, the white bridle down the centre. Pontos is there. Acura Express not far behind these. They're followed by Kings then, and then comes Come on, uh, Twilight Calls as they head down to the closing stages of Fowl and go in the Kings down as they go. So Nature Strike leading to Acura Express in second place. Twilight Calls coming Come out in third position. But it is the great Australian sprinter, Nature Strike and James McDonald. So is the jockey and the trainer. Oh, it was great, great thrill. Uh, the way he did it was, was pretty special. So. Obviously he's a world class horse, it's always hard to prove it in Australia, but I guess ratings don't lie, they get it right. And he showed his authority today. I don't want to let it sink in yet, I want to save it the moment. And uh, tonight I'll be pretty proud. I don't think words can really describe how I feel. Elation wouldn't do it justice, I don't think. The manner of victory, you can't sort of dream of winning that far in a sprint. It just doesn't normally happen. As a kid aspiring to be a jockey, I've watched Raw Ascot many a time, and to be here riding a winner is just incredible, and a group one at that, so phenomenal horse, executed beautifully in uh, the rest of his history. Well, I said to Sinead, who's got him now, if I said to her, if he hits the front of Furlong out, I am going to scream this place down. And I even lifted it up in the air before the winning line because I couldn't see anybody catching him from there. 
you know, it's a five furlong race, arguably slightly better over six. So it was highly unlikely someone was going to come and catch it. He's had his critics all along and I think they're well and fairly solid.